Hello, it's me again. It's Reviewer in a Bathrobe, and today I'm going to talk about my trip down to Roboland that is currently being hosted in Columbus, Ohio. Um, and I went with a friend of mine, and you will see her as well. And the experience was a bit lacking. I mean, as I did read on the view, as some of the reviews. Some of the exhibits the did not were not working. Um, the one two um, main portions of the uh, event were good. The one was better than the other. Um, there was a robot called Titan, and then another one called Sophia. Titan was not a robot. It was a guy in a suit. I had to tell my friend that a couple of times she's like are you sure he's not a robot i'm like no that's a that's a guy in a suit we we do not have the capabilities that oh to do robotics like that yet um uh so and then sophia the one that's had in the past made a lot of headway you know, um, talk to the UN, uh, she's got a passport, she's got a credit card in certain countries, citizenship, but me, I look at her as like, she's really just a giant uh, a Google, like a search engine, although she does have like a certain way of talking to a person but it's really more like because we don't have true ai yet true eye would be artificial i mean if you've heard of the turin test like now when something has come close to passing that then we would be very closer to ai than we are at anywhere now so i guess if you could say if anybody's worried about ai I'm, i mean yeah we can program something to do certain tasks and just do that but we can't do it like a person like say hey i want you to do this then i want you to do that and and then i want you to go there but no we can't we can't um we, we can't have a robot or a, because a robot yeah we can build the robot the outer frame but then it's the brain is basically what we're the machine the computing we don't have it i mean i mean it was only i don't know when microchips i mean oh microprocessors were invented so um let's get on with uh with sh with the show also just another thing i would like to mention if you're going to go to this exhibit just pay like the $20 um, we got our tickets online 
paid around $60. It was a hundred and something for the two of us. And it it wasn't really worth it. And then there was the, which we paid for, I think, the premium package. And then there was another package where you got to do the um, uh, virtual reality uh, rides. But on further looking at them, I think they were more suited for littler children. So if you bring your kids there, yeah, do that. But I would just buy the standard ticket if you do want to do this. It saves you a lot of money. And as I've said before, it's we actually started to look at the bracelets that people were wearing. Who got into the back? Seemed like there was green, yellow, and some kind of sparkly thing. So that's just all I want to say about that. Here we are at Robo Land. We got some Robos. Here's one coming up to me. Hi. What are you doing? You selling stuff? Well, it's a little rude bot. I wonder what this guy does. Guy to work. Hmm. These little guys are moving around. That was interesting. He. Hello. Hi. Hello. You gotta wait. It says for somebody to help you. So there's not enough staff to help. Is my opinion, and we're late. Oh.
What's your name? <laughs> Trying to figure out, you know, some of look at. Um, First. What's this guy do over here? This one is now. So it's like a. Uh, he's got like different uh, touch sensitive pads on him. He's also got cameras in his eyes. So uh, right now we have a couple things programmed for him. Uh, so he can like press his feet. I think this one makes him sit down. Let me see other foot. Uh, there he goes. Cool. And you can try touching one of the things on his head. Or you can is this a sensor? Yeah, I think it's on the back of his hand. Um, there he goes. So, are these just for playing soccer? Uh, no, I, you can program them to do whatever you want. Uh, they just have like a little soccer cup to like um, show off the robots because they're capable of doing a lot of different things. You can, uh, but it's really for like education, so um. you can uh, have kids or like more like high schoolers learn how to program them. It's got uh, different like blocks that you can use, or you can more manually code them to do some more play soccer. That that guy down there, what is he doing? The tall one? Yeah. Uh, this one's QT. It's a, uh, like a robot uh, meant to help like, autistic children understand oh. emotions. Awesome. So he's got uh, cameras on the front here that are supposed to recognize uh, like faces on some cards. Like. So I might have the cards on my phone, but uh, he hasn't been working too well. Well, he costs like nine thousand dollars. So, uh, try to get. Yeah. It's an interesting robot. I know. They, I think you said you have to have the app on that guy down there. Yeah, so we have like an iPad The dogs are working. Any merch? Um, well, Just in the front. Yeah, we have 
I didn't know if that's what that robot's doing. Oh yeah, he's selling like uh, Lego sets or other bot So you can kick it? Yeah, you can try kicking him a little and like, I will stay standing up. Why don't you try to pet the dog? <laughs> There's a dog for you. Nice. Uh, and what are these guys right here? Uh, those are robot masters. They're like robot tanks. This is Reviewer in a Bathrobe saying thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit your notification bell and the um, like button. It really helps. And please stay tuned for more parts. Have a great day.